positive animal outcomes. I think that's the, the main thing about what drives me as an inspector. I love to find opportunities to support animals when they're really in need. So those have been dealt a rough life, mishandled and treated cruelly. I cover an area that is about from Port Pirie to the Northern Territory border, out to the Western Australian border, but it is uh, quite large. There's some animals that definitely need very urgent care, and so I'm under the pump to try to get there as fast as I can. We're just off to uh, have a look at uh, a pony, uh, we had a report come in of a pony that was in bad condition. I've issued a warning to the lady uh, and we're going back to have a look to see how that pony's going. Come on, come on. Hello, you're looking good. It's looking uh, quite good actually. It uh, looks like it's put on a bit of body condition. It also seems like the feet have been looked after by a farrier, so it looks like the owner has done the right thing here and definitely uh, looked, looked after the pony since I've last been here. When we see people, the, the, the number one thing that we want to do is um, help them uh, comply. So we want to tell them, um, you know, give them advice about what they might need and what the animal needs. And uh, I would say the majority of people do the right thing and they do listen to us. Uh, but there's always a few that um, you know will, will ignore any welfare advice. You know they're the people that we spend most of our time with. Uh, we're just uh, off to a job where we've received a report about two quite skinny dogs in the backyard, ribs visible uh, and spine visible. Uh, this is the house here. So both dogs are a little bit skinny, so definitely need to have a chat to the owner. But they're not answering, so um, I'm going to try to give them a call. The number you called is both numbers are dead. I might need to get a warrant for this job uh, because the dogs are starting to get to the stage where they might need to get looked at by a vet. And if that's the case, I'll need to get a warrant to go pick up the dogs. Yeah, I get uh, multiple jobs a day where I need to check people's houses. It's uh, a little bit distressing actually to see how some people just don't pay attention to their animal and, and don't give it a second thought when they go away. We were just worried that, because the report was that no one had been at the house for a few days, so they were just worried that the dogs might not be getting fed. Keep giving them plenty of food because they're just on a bit of the skinny side, that's all. Yeah. So yeah, there was an RSPCA sticker on here, so someone's broken the sticker, so someone's been at the address since I've last been here. Hello, anyone home? I just need to chat to someone if possible. So the, um, the actual complaint is, is that someone's away and that the dog's home alone. But at this stage, I'm pretty convinced that someone's going in, inside the house, so the dog should be okay. It can be taxing, uh, especially when it's job after job after job. It is like a, a never-ending battle. You keep fighting and you keep uh, working and you keep trying to do things. You can feel um, uh, quite sad and emotionally drained. I cope with it by having really good stress management strategies. Uh, I might have to look at um, doing some extra fun things on the weekend. <laughs>
So part of my role uh, as a manager and inspector in the region is that I visit schools and speak to children. Uh, anything that you teach them with animals just seems to stick. So, you know, we're really hoping that in the future, as we educate children, that they'll be more aware of combating animal cruelty. Yeah, we just got a report of a dog that's been tied up. So we're a little bit concerned that the dog could get some injuries by being tangled up. So we're just going to have a look at it now. I think it's this place. You can't use a chain like that around the dog because it will really hurt them. It hurts them. It's not good for them. It's not that tight. So yeah, that's, that's just really loose. You can put your whole hand in it. It doesn't stop, uh, we just keep going from town to town and uh, keep trying to uh, help uh, animals that are really in need and that need support.